So this week we're talking about favourite music and I've said before that I just like a lot of stuff um, and instead of just going through and naming bands that you probably haven't heard of because they're like Scottish and local or Mongolian, I just picked six albums and I'm going to talk about those and that'll give you like a snapshot of what I like, hopefully. Although, they're by no means representative of the whole because I like a lot of stuff and it's eclectic and weird. So okay, let's let's start. Did you guys know I play bass? I play, I play bass. Hang on, hang on. Okay, this is Boris and he's my pride and joy and I love him a lot. And there's one album that made me want to play bass. Bam! Talking Heads 77. Martina Weymouth is their bass player and I like her a lot. And I also like David Byrne. I mean, come on. Look, look at him, look at him, look. Be younger. Also this album has Psycho Killer on it, which is definitely one of the best songs of all time. It's just, it's too good. I like it too much. People are weird about the White Stripes. One time I told this guy that I liked the White Stripes and he said to me, people who like the White Stripes aren't people who like music. And I take issue with that, okay? Because no. No. I saw Frightened Rabbit supporting Snow Patrol at Bellhouse and Park and that was like my second ever gig and I, bought, I went out and I got their album. Well, they have more than one album. This is the album that I got. So I've had this for a couple of years now and it's called The Midnight Organ Fight and I think it may be my favourite album that I've ever listened to. Um, just, oh, just please listen to it. Please. Don't, you don't have to listen to any of the rest of this but please listen to this because they're Scottish and they're really great and if you can get through this without crying then you are a better man than I. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me that cries at this. I don't know. It's like the second last song that does it for me. It's not like Hospice because I think everybody cries at Hospice. Maybe that's also just me. And of course we can't go through this list without mentioning the almighty Bowie. Praise be to St. David. I love you. I love you lots and lots and lots. Rise and Fall of Ziggy Stardust and Spiders from Mars was my favourite album for about two years and I went on a pilgrimage to this phone box when I was in London just just to chill there, just where, where David Bowie was, just hanging out. It was surreal. And finally, possibly my favourite band of all time, Roxy Music, this is their first album. Their second album was their best album and after that Brian Eno left and it got a bit sort of shaky towards the end. They sort of, they sort of peaked early but they were still really good even at the end. Just not as good as the beginning. I don't know if that made sense. Just for the record, <laughs> puns. I don't buy music like this just because I think it's like weird and unique and hipster. It's just because um, it's cheaper for a start. I can get uh, whole albums for like a pound and it's great. Also, free posters. God, I love posters. I think I have to mention Biffy Clyro because they're my, well, they're not the best band that I listen to, but they are my favourite band because they're the first band that I ever listened to that kind of got me into music, you know, before that I was listening to Rihanna and stuff. So, Biffy Clyro and me, we have a connection. They're they're going to be my favourite band for, yeah, forever, just because they just changed my perception of music. That's all I can think of right now. I'm going to go and film my next four videos. I'll see you, I'll see you real soon, real soon, in like five minutes. Okay.